Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging exponential equation. It is 4 power x plus 9 power x plus 16 power x equal to 6 power x plus 8 power x plus 12 power x. x belongs to real number. We have to find out all possible solutions. So let's get started by writing one exponent property or law. It is a power b whole power c can be written as a power c whole power b and further we can write a power b times c. Now I will write 4 as 2 square, 9 as 3 square and 16 as 4 square. So we will be writing 2 square whole power x plus 3 square whole power x plus 4 square whole power is x. Right hand side, we can write 6 power x plus 8 power x plus 12 power x as it is. Now using this property, I will swap the powers. So I can write here 2 power x whole square plus 3 power x whole square plus 4 power x whole square. Now I can write 6 as 2 times 3 whole power is x. 8 as 2 times 4 or 4 times 2 whole power x. And 12 we can write 3 times 4 whole power x. Now using exponent property once again, it is a times b whole power is x then we can write it is a power x times b power x. So here I will apply the same property. So I can write it is 2 power x whole square our equation plus 3 power x whole square plus 4 power x whole square then we can write right hand side as 2 power x times 3 power x using this property plus 4 power x times 2 power x plus 3 power x times 4 power x. Now let us use substitution. I will write 2 power x is equal to suppose a, 3 power x suppose b, and 4 power x suppose c. Then our equation will convert into, I will write, it is a square plus b square plus c square equal to, it is a b, then it is written b c a. So I am writing c a plus b c. So ultimately it is a square plus b square plus c square equal to ab plus bc plus c. Let's write here a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca equal to 0. And let me write our substitution. It was 2 power x equal to a, 3 power x equal to b, 4 power x equal to c. Now I will use one identity. I will multiply this equation with 2. So I will write 2a square plus 2b square plus 2c square minus 2ab minus 2bc minus 2ca. Simply after multiplication with 2, I will be having this equation. Right hand side 0 times 2 is 0. Now I can split 2a square as a square plus a square. So I will write in this manner a square plus b square and then this minus 2ab. Okay. Now I can write b square plus c square. Then I will be writing minus 2bc 
then we can write c square plus a square minus 2c a and right hand side is 0. Now you can see first one is a minus b whole square second bracket is b minus c whole square and third bracket is c minus a whole square the sum of three squares equal to zero this will possible if and only if this individual bracket will be zero this bracket will be zero this individual bracket will be zero so i can write a minus b equal to 0, b minus c equal to 0, c minus a equal to 0 and here a, b, c values are. Let's solve a minus b equal to 0. So we can write a was, let me write here, 2 power x, b was 3 power x and c was 4 power x. So I will write 2 power x minus 3 power x equal to 0 or 2 power x equal to 3 power x. If I will take log both sides, let me consider log, log 2 power x equal to log 3 power x using log property we can write log a power b it will become b log a so i can take this power as a multiplier so i will write x log 2 equal to x log 3 take all the term to one side x times log 2 minus log 3 equal to 0 so this cannot be 0. So x will be equal to 0 only. This is from first equation. Now I will consider the second equation. b minus c equal to 0 or b equal to c. 2 power x was a. 3 power x was b. 4 power x was c. So here I can write 3 power x equal to 4 power x. Take log both sides. So we can write log 3 power x equal to log 4 power x. So again same way I will write all the term to one side and after taking x common it will become equal to 0. So this term cannot be 0 as it is clearly non-zero value. So x must be equal to 0. Now third equation was c minus a equal to 0. So c equal to a. So we can write c was 4 power x equal to 2 power x. Now you can see when this will hold true same way we can take log or we can write this will be true only if x is equal to 0. So our overall solution is x is equal to 0. Let's check. So equation is here. I will put x is equal to 0. So I will be writing 4 power 0 plus 9 power 0 plus 16 power 0 equal to 6 power 0 plus 8 power 0 plus 12 power 0 anything having power 0 equal to 1. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1. 3 equal to 3. That means x is equal to 0 is the true and only solution. I hope friends this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.